Hey, this is Vu, and I figured I'd come back at you with another few things you probably didn't know that'll help you win some games. So first off, we've got one on train, and this is the light here towards Z. So if you throw a smoke down, you can actually see this light on the other side of the smoke. And if someone crosses over that, you can actually see because the light will be put out. So I placed a bot there. You know, if a player is moving, you don't have to be moving yourself. You can just line up like this, wait for someone to cross, and it's a free kill so if you can ever get close to z you've got a pretty good advantage before we skip on over to something on dust 2 i'm going to show you one more thing here on train and i call it the astralis smoke you're going to get into this corner here aim to the left at the bottom of this window it, there's a bit of leeway here um, on that smoke and this is going to give you a one way that you can use to see over and pick anybody off in ivy if we look at it from the other side this bot is completely invisible the only danger with this is that someone can push out ivy and try and catch you on the side so sometimes throwing a molly or something else is still somewhat relevant for this play the next thing i'm going to show is going to be a little bit harder to see in video however it's a head glitch kind of spot towards the back plat on dust 2. so the way you do this is you get to the box here you crouch down and you hold the angle like so now if you look at this from a bot perspective that head is almost not visible it's almost impossible to hit that character in the head and realistically you know you're not really going to be doing that on the fly especially if you're a little bit out to the left you're not really going to be able to hit that head now the way you can abuse this even more is there's a little way the game works that most people don't know where if you look to the right and then back to the left oftentimes the way your body pivots this means your head is actually going to be even harder to see because of the way the model moves that means if you find the right lineup and you come to this body Box, looking to the right and look back left your head will literally be invisible in this spot the way I can show you this a bit better is from a third person perspective if I come up to the box like this I should be peeking most of tunnels here in fact, I'm over peaking tunnels here. I could even move a bit more to the right. Most of my head is visible, but it's still gonna be hard to hit this player. Now, if I look to the right, my body's gonna pivot, and then I look back left, and all of a sudden my head is completely invisible, hidden behind the box. This can be a bit finicky because you can even make it worse sometimes if you don't know what you're doing, but if you find a good lineup, this can be pretty exploitable, specifically on this spot, but also a few other spots in the game. Those are a secret. One other quick little thing on Dust 2 is a nice little self flash you can throw. If you're alone on long, oftentimes your choices are to molly or to flash. However, instead, you can throw the molly, turn back, and then throw a flash like this. And that flash is going to allow you to self control long to some extent. Again, not perfect, but it is a bit helpful. Another thing on Dust 2 that a lot more people know about is this little thing here. People ask me about this constantly. You can jump on this to jump up on Xbox. That's all you re really need to look for. If that's the plan, you get on this little thing. The way you can work this in is you can throw this smoke here and combine that by jumping across from lower tunnels to get up on cat without ever being spotted by anyone in mid. Here on Nuke, there's a few cool things as well. First off, we've got this, which is a molly that will burn through and catch people up on the ledge up here as well. It's gonna push them off of this ledge or at least let you know they're up there. The other thing that you can see on Nuke is this little angle. It's a crack angle you've probably seen in a bunch of pro games now, or you know maybe you haven't seen it at all. Well, if you look through this crack angle here, you can see outer, and you can do that with an AUG as well, any scope gun, but on the other side, unless you have an AWP, you're not even capable of seeing this player. You just can't see him at all. Um, with a Krieg, still can't see him. And if you have an AWP, it's still very tough to see this player, and that player probably has time to catch you crossing as well and get that free kill. So that's a great angle to get some information, and even without a knot, you can still see some info there if you're really paying attention without your opponents really being able to know. So they might think you don't know anything, but you see them clearly. Oh yeah, and a lot of people still don't know this. If you press E on the vents, you can open and close them. This one is fairly well known, but an easier and safer way to jump spot B on Mirage now that the lip has been removed is to jump spot it from back over here. With this, you have just about no chance of getting opt, 
and you can easily keep a smoke in your hand to drop it down if they go for a quick execute and you can play around it. Another cool thing you can do near the B site is you can drop a smoke here in towards market doorway and you can play it like a one way over the edge of it. It's not a perfect one way, but when people see that smoke, they typically think it's fully clear. They don't really look up and to the left. Up and to the left. As well, if you ever want to spam someone on the right side of window, it's just to the right of this pillar here. This little pull to the right, that's going to be the right side of window from pretty much anywhere in mid. As long as you get just to the right of that pillar, you're going to be catching people on the right side of window pretty easily. On Inferno, two things to realize here. First is this little spam on this wood plank. If you jump up on this and aim right through here, that's gonna shoot through the wall. And although it feels like it should do just about no damage, the way it works is it does almost full damage. The other thing is this smoke. One thing don't, people don't really know is that when you have two smokes and one dissipates, the person inside is completely visible just at the end there. When one smoke is dissipating inside of another smoke, it makes the players inside fully visible. And that means if you ever see two smokes that are thrown right on top of each other, make sure you don't sit in them as they're going down. Seriously? Another thing a lot of people don't know on Inferno is you can actually spam through this wall here. It doesn't seem like too much, but if you're hitting them in the head, you're going to three shot them. And although it's a bit dangerous because they can just peek out right off of you, you can spam this from right about here and then just quickly back up and re peek. So something to keep in mind. So a couple things on overpass. Number one is there's this little ledge you can jump up on top of here. And on CT side, if they come down below you, they can kind of see you if they're looking this direction, but they're usually hugging the wall looking to the left, so it actually does work out. You can also catch people in short. Another thing you can know is that this angle here works extremely well. Credit to Mahone for this one, but your opponent's gun model, if they're using right-handed, which most people do, will cover you if they're looking up, as most people should be when you're in this corner. One other thing that you rarely see because people like to silent boost to get up here you can actually self jump up onto this ledge here it's actually not that hard and you can look up this direction and the final thing to know is that oftentimes if you throw a decoy then a smoke on top of that decoy the decoy smoke will maintain in the middle of the smoke and can actually be used kind of like lights in that if someone crosses between you and that smoke you will see them and they will die. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope this helped, and I'll catch you next time.